Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today we are gonna be doing three super fun Dollar Tree DIYs, two of which will be Ray Dunn inspired and I know you are gonna love them. They are so easy, anybody can do them and I know they are gonna make a big bold statement with your Halloween decor. For this DIY, you will need one baking pan from the Dollar Tree. They always have these in stock as well as some satin black spray paint. I am using the Krylon. You can use the dollar spray paint from Walmart. This is what I had on hand, so I am going to use it. And I am gonna do this with slow and even strokes. As you see, do not be impatient like I have been so many times in the past. Make sure you do this slow and let it dry fully. The pan has had time to dry. Make sure you let it dry very well. And I am using my painter's marker from Walmart. I used to do a ton of crafts back in the day when that is how I made my extra money. And I have these on hand. So I got this from Walmart and it is definitely the most affordable place you can get it. I believe it's about $3 and they are a lifesaver. And I am freehanding Spooky in the Ray Dunn font. You guys, make sure you practice on a spare sheet of paper to get this font down. It is not perfect, but that's the fun thing about crafts. You can practice, it becomes your own, and trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. This is what it looks like, and I think it is so cute. The next project is a Ray Dunn inspired boo. I'm starting off with this little piece from Dollar Tree, not sure what it's called, and a boo print off that I just got from my computer. I used the skinny font from defont.com and you can get it for free and download it and use it for anything you need to. So I'm gonna start taking apart this little item here. Make sure you're careful. There are little staples in there. So I learned the hard way, be careful. It is fairly easy to take apart. I'm just pulling everything off so I have a nice surface to paint. I'm now gonna use my linen white chalk paint. It is from Rust-Oleum. I purchased it from Home Depot. I am gonna use this sponge here from the Dollar Tree and just sponge on a thick layer of paint, making sure I can let it dry in between coats. I am trying to cover up this background so when I put the sign on the front, it does not poke through the white paper. Now that that is finished, I'm gonna do a coat on the frame just to make sure it is nice and white. I've allowed everything to dry and now I'm gonna place this as center as possible over the word and then I'm going to cut the boo out. Next, I'm gonna use my Mod Podge and I'm gonna do an even coverage on the back here using this little foam applicator. The Dollar Tree does sell Mod Podge, but I already had some on hand. Next, I'm gonna put the paper on top and try to get it as center as possible. When you are smoothing out any of the bumps, make sure you do not rip the paper with it being wet on the back. It is really easy to do that. And I'm gonna fold and crease the extra paper on the sides here. And as you see, when I lay it down, a little bit's gonna be poking out, but that is okay. Any of the paper that's left out, just fold it over. This is optional, but I decided to line the inside of the frame with a little bit of glue to make sure the back stayed very secure. It fits just fine without it. And here it is, it is so cute. This next project is a monogram door hanging or wall hanging, whatever you wanna call it. I am using one of the wooden cutouts as well as this little tea light holder. I think that's what it is. I decided since I liked the shape of the pumpkins, I am going to take it completely apart. But when doing this, make sure you are very careful. The wood does splinter. I was able to get it apart with a little bit of force. You could use a knife that may help, maybe even some good scissors, but I was able to get it, but just be really careful to not hurt yourself. 
So I'm gonna take this larger cutout and I'm gonna use regular painter's tape. This is the only size I had, and I'm going to make stripes with the pumpkin. I actually went back afterwards and made the stripes a little bit thicker, so if you had thinner painter's tape, I think that would be the way to go. I am gonna cut off this little string here. Make sure not to cut it too short because you're gonna use it later on. We are gonna use black paint. I got this from Walmart for 50 cents. If you are amazing and have a really steady hand, you don't have to use the painter's tape, but unfortunately, I do not. I cannot do a straight line to save my life. So this is what I have to resort to. When you are all done painting, don't forget to do the edges as well. It just makes more of a finished product. I'm gonna take my small little pumpkin here and I'm gonna do a regular old dose of, it's actually called pumpkin orange. This was also a 50 cent color from Walmart. And I'm gonna put this on here using the foam applicator. Originally, when I had the idea of this project, I did not see myself doing two pumpkins, but that is what I love about crafts. You start with something and they, a lot of times for me, just turn out to be totally different. Leave in the comments below, are you the same way? I just kind of get an idea, I get inspiration, and then I just run with it and it becomes its own unique, unique thing and it's so much fun. Then I wanted to do polka dots on here, so I'm actually gonna mix the colors because I did not have any on hand. This is something I do often if I want a specific color. So I did a dab of yellow, a little bit of that same orange as I did on the bottom. I'm using this little applicator I got from Walmart. It came in a pack, I think it was $3, and I love these because circles are not my strong point either, and I love polka dots, as you will see the more we craft together. So I'm just gonna add this on here and it makes the perfect circles and then I will be able to go back and kind of fill it in with my brush. So now I'm gonna take the painter's tape off. I noticed the stripes were looking a little thin, but that is fine, I'm gonna fix them later on. And I'm gonna fill in the blank spots with some regular 50 cent Walmart paint. Again, you will see this is my go-to, unless I have large bottles, 50 cent is fine with me. Now that that is all done, I'm gonna add a little bit of dimension by mixing some black and white, making a little gray. This is one of my favorite parts of crafting is giving it dimension and doing these accents. Go with the flow. If you do a little heavy handed, you can always fix it with a little bit of black paint and it just really makes the project come alive. I'm also gonna give these little polka dots here some depth by adding these white curves here to make it look like there's like they're kind of popping out. Like I said, this is the part of crafts and painting that I just love. I get in the zone and it is so much fun. And look how cute it turns out. I can barely leave anything alone, so I'm gonna add some more white on the black here. And then you'll see the finish, final product. It is completely different. I'm gonna practice how I want my W to look. I really encourage you guys to do this before actually marking on the final product. This will save you a lot of heartache. I added a little purple polka dots. I thought my camera was filming, but it was not. So here it is. Just use a regular brush and some paint that I had and put little dots in the middle of the polka dots. And then I'm using a Sharpie to start my outline for my letter. 
Once I got the general idea, I'm using a very fine tip brush and the same black paint that I painted the other pumpkin and gonna start filling in this line. Luckily, I can just keep going it over and over until it is perfect. I'm going to glue everything on here with my Gorilla Glue. I love this stuff. As you see, there's another pumpkin there. Like I had mentioned, there were parts where I thought my camera was actually filming and it was not. So there it is. I painted that other pumpkin purple, added white solid polka dots. And as you will see, I will show you an up close view of it in just a second. But I am gonna put these on here and get everything assembled. And then we are gonna work on the bow. Time to secure the other pumpkin. I'm gonna place it where I want it and put some of these paint bottles on top just to hold it still and apply some pressure until it's all done and dry. I'm gonna pull out my Dollar Tree ribbon. I got three rolls of different types. They still have them. This is all recent and I love these. I thought they were really pretty and I'm gonna measure out about 13 inches because I am gonna fold it in half and make a bow for the pumpkin. I'm going to add a little bead of glue on the center here. As you saw, I'm going to bring the two edges together, glue them. This will help keep the shape when I'm trying to put all of the pieces together. I felt like it needed a little more, so I used some old ribbon I have had for quite some time. I think one is from Michaels and the other is from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to do the exact same gluing technique for the inside. Next, I'm gonna take each loop and I'm gonna start stacking them one by one. You will see how I do this and it's gonna make a nice full bow. I feel like this is the easiest way when it comes to these types of crafts to make a really cute bow for it and just add a little bit of something extra. And you can do as many loops as you want. It's really up to you. I'm gonna cinch the center as you see I'm doing here. You can do it whatever's easiest, but I just kind of squeeze the center in and then I will use a pipe cleaner. Make sure you get one that matches in case it does show a little bit and I'm gonna draw, like run it through my hands there. And when you do this pipe cleaner, you have to make sure to hold on to the ribbon really, really tight. That is when gluing everything beforehand comes in handy because if you wouldn't have, everything would have come out by now. So laying it face down, cinching the center and start wrapping that pipe cleaner as tight as possible to make sure nothing unravels. You'll need to fluff out any of the loops here and you can kind of make it however you want it. I like to kind of pull them in opposite directions to give it more of a full effect. So I just took the extra step of leaving the excess pipe cleaner on there and then wrapping it around the stem. You don't have to do this. You can just cut it off and hot glue it, but I wanted to reinforce it. So I put it on the stem like you saw, but I noticed it was super flimsy. So I went ahead and added a little bead right here and just to hold everything in place. I love the way it came out. I think it is so super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree Halloween craft. I feel like everything came out so fun and so cute. You can do anything you want here. You don't have to have your initial on the pumpkin. You don't have to have spooky or boo. You can go with whatever your heart desires. Use your imagination, have fun, and enjoy yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. Go ahead and hit that notification bell as a friendly reminder to let you know when I post new videos and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to see y'all in the next one. Bye.